Hello world! In today's video, we'll understand the differences between the gap layer and the link layer functionalities. As a beginner, it is possible that you may get confused between the functionalities that are provided by these two layers. Although I have already made a video which covers the overview of all the layers of the BLE protocol stack and the link to that will be in the description below, but this one will specifically address the differences between these two layers. First of all, link layer is a controller layer and gap layer is a host layer. I had clearly explained that host is interested in say throwing a party, which is exchanging the data and controller does the dirty job of actually moving it. Now let's understand what is the link layer responsible for. Link layer is majorly responsible for advertising, scanning and for creating and maintaining connections. It sits on top of the file layer. Thus, it specifies the on-air interface. Now let's understand what is the gap layer doing. Gap defines certain rules and each rule comes with its own set of requirements and restrictions. The first role is of a broadcaster, wherein the device simply sends advertisements and broadcasts data, but doesn't accept any connection requests. Or it could be an observer role, wherein the BLE device can only read the advertisement packets, but cannot establish further connections. The third role could be of a peripheral, which sends out advertisements and can accept the connection request from the fourth role, which is of the central. The central scans for advertisements and unlike an observer, it can initiate a connection by sending a connection request to the peripheral. Now, if you're using a module which can be configured via say 80 commands, then simply by typing certain commands, you can configure your module or the BLE device to run in a particular role. Thus, each gap role provides a specific set of requirements to the underlying controller or the link layer. In other words, gap provides access to the link layer operations. Implementations of the rules which are laid out by the gap for a particular role is taken care of by the link layer, which means the actual job is done by the link layer and what is needed to be done or which role do we want is defined by gap. Now let's understand the differences between the gap layer advertising packets and the link layer advertising packets. The link layer advertising packet includes preamble, access address, PDU, which is also called as packet data unit, and CRC. The gap packet specifies the advertising data, also known as advertising payload part of the PDU. And this part includes advertising structure, also known as AD structure, and AD type. The application developer is usually concerned with this advertising payload field as the rest of the fields are automatically filled by the stack. Thus, you have to specify only a few details or configuration settings and the rest is managed by the lower layer or the controller layer. More details pertaining to advertisements will be covered in a separate video on this channel. To put things into perspective, let's consider an example. Let's say there's a manager who's working in an IT firm who wants to inform his team that they should start the testing of the product. So he'll inform the team leader about the same. The team leader would translate it as we have to start executing the test cases. But who will be executing the test cases? Well, there'll be subordinates working under the team leader. So they will be in the end executing the test cases. So this is the advantage of having a hierarchical structure, wherein the upper layer will just instruct what is it that is supposed to be done and the lower layer will take care of the nitty gritties. Another very simple example could be of a washing machine, wherein you simply press a button and the washing machine basically starts washing the clothes. So the circuitry takes care of washing the clothes and you simply inform it by pressing a particular button. It cannot get simpler than this. So to conclude, link layer provides gap layer an abstraction and a way to interact with the radio. So that is it for today. I'll cover more such queries and things like what is the difference between a BLE module and BLE SOC and a lot of other topics which are needed to set the foundation right so that you can commence working on practical examples and project implementations. 
Now, I know that some of you have requested me to cover certain projects and, you know, certain practical examples, which I completely understand. But for that, I need your support. But let's cross a certain number of subscribers, 1,500 as of for now. So what you have to do is, first of all, you have to subscribe to the channel and then you have to inform your colleagues or friends and peers who are working in this field or studying in this field to subscribe to the channel. So this is like we are supporting each other by doing this activity. And yeah, if you like the video, then do give it a like, share it and comment down below if you have more suggestions. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye world.